think I have a plan of how to save your store. If we get the Pawnee Historical Society to declare your store as a historical landmark, then you might get enough of a tax break to keep your business afloat. That sounds like the government meddling in private enterprise. Well, Ron, we all know how much you love the free market, but the Pawnee Video Dome is the only place in town where people gather to do something intellectual. That and the slam poetry nights at Beanie's Coffee, but I do not count those because those poems do not rhyme. Anything can be a slam poem if you say it like this. It's pointless. This man is a failure. He is not up to snuff. His business is failing and you're bailing it out. This is a bailout and I don't like it. And there are some pretty intellectual conversations down at Barrett's Hardware. You may get a little heat for this, okay? So use your money wisely. Get popular films that people want to see. Like, uh, get the Tarkovsky movies with the subtitles. No, like Pixar, Reese Witherspoon. I know this is gonna hurt, but maybe some Michael Bay. What? No, no, no. Pawnee Video Dome is where I rented my first Bruce Lee movie and my second Bruce Lee movie. And when I was in seventh grade, I went out back in the alley behind the store and there was a giant hornet's nest. And I threw a rock at it and it exploded. And hornets came out. Eddie. The point is, obviously, you do not throw rocks at a hornet's nest. And the point is also that the Pawnee Video Dome is a place with tremendous community value where people gather to expand their horizons. Any other comments here before we vote? <clears throat> Ron, what are you doing at a city council meeting? Are you lost? Are you hurt? No, I am here to express an opinion. This action by Councilwoman Nope is nothing more than a thinly veiled government bailout, and I, for one, refuse to let her turn this town into a socialist hellscape. Allow me to elaborate. The government should not prop up a failed business. That would be like giving food to a mortally wounded animal instead of slitting its throat and properly utilizing its meat and pelt. Please stop talking about wounded meat. Pawnee needs a place where the community can gather to discuss and appreciate art. A place where you can rent such films as Cinema Paradiso or Rashomon. You rented Rashomon. What was your favorite part of that? I haven't rented it, actually, yet, but I like the idea that there is a place where I could rent Rashomon. Uh, you can just watch it online for free whenever you want. Bailiff! Thank you, Mr. Swanson, for your absurd opinion, which is shared by no one. Now, are there any more public comments before we vote? Mm. Gene Strackwell, owner of Strackwell Hardware. Is there a form I need to fill out for the bailout? We're, we're not bailing anyone out. Pawnee Video Dome is receiving historical landmark status. We've been around way longer than that stupid art house movie bullcrap, and people need places to buy tools. Oh, you can just buy tools online. Bailiff, why is he back in here? How did you get back in uh, here? I'll, just, I'll see myself out. Don't worry about it. I heard you were giving out free money. I need $3,000 minimum. Mr. Fandringham, the city of Pawnee is not going to give you a personal loan. What would you do if one of your citizens was about to come into some serious physical harm, unless he got $3,000? I'd call the police. You cannot call the police. Wilson Gromling of the Liberty or Die Party, these government handouts are deplorable. You're just handing out blank checks. I was on food stamps, I was on welfare, and nobody ever helped me. This is not a blank check. I have given specific instructions to the Pawnee Video Dome about how they are going to spend their money. In a few days, Dennis will reopen. The store will serve a wider range of Pawnee citizens, and a Pawnee cultural institution will be saved. Are there any other comments? Yes, the Pawnee chapter of the Liberty or Die Party has hit some hard times. We were wondering if maybe the town could Loan us some money. Mm hmm Councilwoman, I just came down to see the effects of your government intervention, and I've got to hand it to you. You really turned this place around. Really? Oh, my God, this is amazing. Dennis. Hey. You did it. We did it. I did it. This is me. <laughs> yes, it was. I took your advice, got rid of all those dusty old foreign films, and used the money for the part of our business that's always done pretty well for us. Give the people what they want, right? This isn't what people want. It's definitely what that guy wants. I like this store now. Do you realize what you have done? The Pawnee government now effectively owns a porn shop. You have made us porn peddlers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.